Uh, well, this guy walked in. Okay. Uh huh. So I went up to him. Yes. Uh -huh. And I, uh, well, I stabbed him 37 times in the chest. I beg your pardon. Carl, stop a boy. What? Llamas with hats, one through ten, the complete series. Carl, there is a dead human in our house. Oh, hey, how did he get here? Carl, what did you do? Me? I, I, I didn't do this. Explain what happened. I feel like Carl, Carl did this. I've never seen him before in my life. Why I feel did like you Carl kill did this. this. Person, Carl. I do not kill people. That is that is my least favorite thing to do. Tell <laughs> me, Carl, exactly what you were doing before I got home. All right. Well, I I was upstairs. Okay. okay. I was uh, I was sitting in my room. Yes. Okay. Reading a book. All right. Uh, and uh, well, this guy walked in. Okay. Uh huh. So I went up to him. Yes. Uh -huh. And I uh, well, I stabbed him 37 times in the chest. I beg your pardon. People. Oh, oh, Carl. wow, I, I, I didn't know that. How did you know that? <laughs> yeah, I'm in the wrong here. I suck. What happened to his hands? What's that? His hands. Why Why are they missing? Well, I, uh, I kind of uh, cooked them up. What? How do you cook? Carl! How well, do you uh, cook? I was hungry, and, well, you know, when, when you crave hands, that's... Why on earth would you do that? I was hungry for hands. Give me a break. Carl. I mean, I can feel it, because, you know, sometimes you're hungry, you're hungry for, like, chicken nuggets or chicken tenders or things of that nature. You want to, you go get you some chicken nuggets or chicken tenders, so I see it. Like, if it's right there, you have to, you take what, you take what's right in front of you. You know, when life gives you lemons, you know? Making the rumblies Carl. that only hands would satisfy. What is wrong with you, Carl? Well, I, I kill people and I eat hands. That's <laughs> two things. Carl, what on earth was all that? Uh, I'm not sure what you're referring to. You sunk an entire cruise ship. Carl. How? I'm sure that was me. I, I would. How the llamas get on the ship? Oh, I watched you fire a harpoon into the captain's face. How? You were headbutting children off the side of the ship. That uh, that must have been horrifying to watch. And then you started <laughs> making out with the ice sculptures. Well, thank God that the children what? weren't on board to see it. Uh, wait, Carl. wait, 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 wait. Ice sculptures? Why don't you just? Okay, I don't, I don't understand. Make, make out with the children's parents. Why the fuck are you going for ice sculptures? Why is the lifeboat all red? And sticky. Well, I guess you could say it is red and sticky. Carl, what are we standing in? Would you believe it's strawberry milkshake? No, I would not believe that. I would. Melted gumdrops. No. Boat nectar. No. Some of God's tears. Tell me the truth, <laughs> Carl. Fine. It's the lovely elderly couple from 2B. Carl! Well, they were, uh, they were taking all the crescent rolls. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I will not apologize for art. Where are the other lifeboats? Whoa, you won the prize. I didn't even notice that. Where are the other lifeboats, Carl? Looking what? at the trajectory of the moon and the sun, probably what? at the bottom of the ocean. Why? Carl! I have a problem. I have a serious problem. You are just terrible today. Shh. Do you hear that? That's the sound of forgiveness. That's the sound I, of people no. drowning, Carl. That is what forgiveness sounds like. What? Screaming and then silence. I fuck with Carl though. Carl really liked that for real. Carl, push <laughs> me on vacation. I don't know about you, but I am having a wonderful time here. You toppled the South American government, Carl. How? No, 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 no. I want to see Carl in action because I'm not understanding how Carl is doing all these things. Where Carl get a harpoon from? From? How did he shoot the harpoon? I love resistance. You pushed the resistance leader into a giant fan. He was a traitor and a scoundrel. He was trying to stop you from pushing other people into a giant fan. Appear to have swallowed what? an entire person. That would be the what? hotel bartender. Well, that explains why my mojito is taking so long. It was horrifying. Your mouth unhinged like a snake. Wow, that sounds pretty awesome. I can't go anywhere with you, Carl. That hurt my feelings. Now we're both in the wrong. I want to go home. What? We're leaving. In that case, I should probably mention that I filled our luggage with orphan meat. Today. Why? A meat dragon, and not just any meat will do. You know what? Forget it. I'm not even shocked anymore. Oh, uh, that's no fun. This has become the norm for you, Carl. I'll have to try harder next time. No, don't. don't. I feel like I've been issued a challenge. Oh, I know, I, it's Carl. Too late now. Please. I totally don't remember your name. We've known each other for three years, Carl. And what an impression you've made. My name is Paul. <laughs> What? I said my name- His name's Paul? I thought you were a woman. Why would you think that? Mostly the hat. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have some pictures to delete from my computer. Paul doesn't even look that good as a woman. Actually, Paul does have a dumpy. Never mind. Carl, you've tracked mud all over the carpet. That's yeah, not that, that bad. There's a mess. I just had That's a not that bad. yesterday, Carl. Okay. I'm responsible for this. I've been jamming on the saxophone all morning. They're clearly your hoof prints, Carl. Then there is an imposter on the loose. They lead directly to you. Clue number one. The imposter is a phantom. Carl, stop avoiding. What? Carl. What? Carl. Happy birthday. It's ha not Please tell me you had nothing to do with this. Why don't you blow out your candle? You've gone too far this time, Carl. What's that? It's hard to hear you over the sound of Melting City. How the fuck? 
this wow no i need i need details on carl because this doesn't make sense even do this a dollop of fairy dust carl. i ripped the tag off a of mattress this isn't funny carl he's <laughs> laughing clearly not all the people who just exploded i'm leaving i've had enough of this but think of all the perfectly roasted faces we get to munch on now but why because we're friends and friendship is two pals munching on a well-cooked face together that isn't friendship debatable carl. that's sick well then you're probably not gonna like your birthday decoration it's what it's not even my Oh my god. Surprise! Oh, oh, no, no, Carl. I'm sorry, I thought you liked faces. Carl! Well, this, communication. this is awful, Carl. You're right, it's not nearly as tasteful as I pictured it in my head. I think I'm gonna throw it. Oh god, one touched me. This was clearly the wrong way to go. But how did you Carl? do this? What can I say? I expected them to be cooked more. Raw face is just gross. But that isn't the problem, Carl. Why would you think any of this was a good idea? Probably because I'm a dangerous sociopath with a long history of violence. Yes. Yes. I don't understand. Yes. You keep forgetting that. That he uh, he does have a point, but how the hell does Carl get it? Like I want to see Carl put the work in. I'm tired of him just having it. Put in the work I want to see. Carl, I know you've done something. What <laughs> do you mean? You've always done something. It's a lovely day out. We're having a good time. It what is a, uh, it you is a lovely day. Sort of scoundrel. Carl, I am a respected member of the community. To okay. even insinuate. Okay. Okay. Carl. So what did you do today? Well, let's see. I washed the car. Uh-huh. Okay. I made a donation to the local Girl Scout troop. Sure. Okay. I returned an overdue movie at Blockbuster. What else? Oh, right. I stepped on a ladybug by accident. Go on. And uh -huh. I baked some banana bread for our neighbor, Pat. I believe that's it. Where's Done. Pat at? Where's that's Pat? It. That's all I did today. I know this nigga did not just put a hole in the time-space continuum. This nigga just pulled a Gravity Falls. How the hell? Oh. Oh. I may have forgot to mention one of my activities. Carl. I apologize, that was wrong. Explain, Carl. Well, from here, it looks like a weather balloon. I'm not in the mood for this. I think it's just a lens flare and some dust. Just tell me, Carl. <laughs> Fine. I may have created a crack in space time. How? Through which to collect millions of baby hands. Why? Huh. What do you mean, huh? I think I was expecting worse. Worse? But this is totally fucked, bro. I know, but it is. the time with a nuke and the faces, it's just... Come on, look at this. How did I even do this? I don't understand how or why you do anything. Do you know what it feels like to be Carl right now? It hurts. Not as much as the babies, but it hurts. <laughs> uh, Carl? What? Why are there only hands from white babies? Well, you know, Whitey's gotta pay. Ah. And the payment is baby hands. W, Carl, man. I got y'all back at all times. We support Carl. Carl. Is this the baby Aren't hands? are you gonna say it? Say what, Carl? That. My name. All offended and annoyed. I'm leaving, Carl. What? I'm moving out. It's the meat conveyor, That's isn't fair. it? You That's never fair. were a fan of modern home design. It's a lot of things, Carl. Modern Let home design. Efficiency. Industry. Never before has this many dead bodies been so manageable. Carl. I'm the Henry Ford of human meat. I've oh my back. god. I'm not coming back, Carl. Come on, we haven't even gotten to the big surprise yet. I'm sure it's very upsetting. Well, now I don't even want to show you. Good. I do not want to see it. Man, you are being a huge beehole right now. I'm not the one shoving people into a meat grinder. It's not a meat grinder, it's an orphan stomper. <laughs> That's gross. Your attitude. Are you serious? What have I done to deserve all this beehole coming out of your mouth? It's everything, Carl. It's everything your you've existence, done ever. Your existence, Carl. Even that time I helped Mrs. Bigsby with her garden? You buried her there. It's what she would have wanted. You buried her alive. She wasn't keeping up with the weeding. As president of the Homeowners Association, I had to take immediate action. This is the name who are on the HOAs, guys. Oh my God, he's the one we hate. I thought I liked you, Carl, but now I hate you. I hate HOAs. What you do is kill people, Carl. That's like saying all Mozart did was write songs. You are completely insane. Oh, weird. That's what all these orphans said. Is that the surprise? No. That looks like a meat dragon. Did you finish your meat dragon, How? Carl? Maybe. It's horrifying, Carl. Thank you. How does Carl do this? I want to know Carl's childhood. I need to know what he went through. I feel like he went through some. He went through something. He had to. Who? Me? Whatever could you be referring to? Oh, the hand chair. He moved I out. Taking up carpentry. Now, how would you feel if I called your work a monstrosity? Of course, I had to use faces. Anything else would be disrespecting the art. Facts. It's called modernism. Only I've made it more modern by using face parts of city council members. Oh! I disagreed with the election results. Someone had to take a stand. I'm a patriot and a hero. Okay. Fine. If you're going to whine about it, I can sew them back on. I think their bodies are still in my blood canal. Yes, I'm the crazy one. RP Paul, man. These buffoons. RP if Paul. Any attention to our city charter what if he killed Paul? It wasn't an overreaction. What are you doing? You're sitting. You never sit. You're always standing, Paul. You're not supposed to sit. <laughs> I find this very upsetting. You don't even care, do you, about my feelings? <laughs> Will you please just stand up, Paul? No, that's I don't nasty. Know who you are anymore. No, you cannot take off the mask. 
It has to look right when I throw you in the blood canal. What? He want, I told you he killed Paul. He killed Paul. And now he's trying to replace Paul. Paul, are you home? Ding dong. He's Landlord, gone. pizza delivery, fire department. And he's gone. What do you want, Carl? I want to be treated like a friend, Paul. We're not friends anymore. Didn't you get my apology piano? Pianos aren't supposed to bleed and scream. I guess it was less a piano and more a statement on pianos. Why can't what? you go horrify someone else, Carl? I miss your grumpy face. And the paw mask I made hasn't helped. It's not grump enough. You made a mask of my face? Yes, and speaking of which, you might want to avoid being seen by federal investigators. Carl. <laughs> to some, you are now known as Nikolai Sponikov, brutal leader of the Russian opium cartel. Oh, what? Carl. I'm calling the police. Bad idea, Nikolai. And you know there isn't a prison I can't nibble my way out of. I'm dialing. I've got nowhere to go. I burned my house down once it had enough swans inside, and I used up the rest of my savings buying the swans. And what? whose fault is that, Carl? Society. Society and the swans. Carl, please. Carl, I mean, I gave man. You every chance I could. I just, I can't he do can't it do, Yeah, he can't do it no more, Carl. What if Carl? I gave you? Ten million dollars cash. You don't have ten million dollars, Carl. I buried a large chest of doubloons once. I you just said you don't have money, Carl. What is it? The master manipulator, bro. No, Carl. It was either doubloons or my zoo books. A lot of something is in a hole somewhere. I'm putting on some music, Carl. I'm not listening anymore. What about the neighbors? Do they not hear him? Sorry, flesh me is so ungrateful, Carl. And after all we've been through, it's scandalous, I say. You do such incredible things and deserve appreciation. It's okay. He'll come around. As He's soon not... as the swan piano arrives. <laughs> You're welcome. The neighbors hate that bro. The neighbor, I want to call, I had to call 911. What are the neighbors doing? Poor Carl. I mean, poor Paul. Fuck Carl. Carl, I can't believe you. Uh-oh. He's going crazy. You killed He's someone going and crazy. Them up and they're right here on the floor, Carl. I didn't do that. Why would you, why would you think I did such a He's thing? He's going Carl, crazy, guys. all the blood and the, the pieces, you murderer. I think I would have remembered uh, dismembering someone and putting all their bits on the no, ground right here. Carl. That's not the sort of thing I would usually forget about. No, Carl. Carl. I hate you, Carl. I hate you. You. Oh, watch it. Now who's being hurtful? You, Paul. You. Carl! Who said that? What? It was me, Carl. Why, Paul? Yes, Carl. You came back. You what? must finish your work, Carl. My work? There is so much to do. We mustn't dawdle. You said you weren't coming back. Carl! Yeah? Carl! I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Carl! <laughs> What? What are you planning, Carl? I'm kind of just freestyling it these days, taking things as they come. You're better than that, Carl. You're Ooh. better. I am, aren't I? You're Carl. Yep. I am Carl. Yeah. Carl. He's being That's manipulated. Me. He's being manipulated by Paul. You sure like your yelling. Or is he hallucinating? He's hallucinating, isn't he? Even the music, the music is dying. Carl's dying. <coughs> Not again. Paul? Not again. I can't see anything. You need to get up, Carl. You're in great danger. Where are we? What? I'll find a light, Carl. Okay. When the Last of Us Fallout. I don't remember how I got here. You need to get out. Apocalyptic Carl. show is this? Oh, what? it's my gore pit. You had a terrible fall, Carl. I, I think my legs are broken. You're in danger. You need to get up. How long have I been down here? No, Carl's Feels gonna like die. Your work isn't finished, Carl. Carl's gonna die. So much more to do. I don't know if I can move, Paul. You must act quickly. Something is down here with us. That's probably the basilisk. It won't bother us. The stupid thing only eats Chipotle. It grows closer. Were you always this creepy, Paul? I'll go find some rope. And some Neosporin if you see a tube. Carl. No, Carl's gonna I die. Know. It's all laughs with old Carl. Paul? Was that you? Paul just got eaten. Maybe it's my stomach making the rumblies. Hungry for hands. Remember that, Paul? Yeah, I do remember that. Paul. But you're all alone. Carl. No luck with the rope. I'm sorry, Carl. You'll need to do this yourself. Well, that's a bummer. Carl. That's not gonna work. I'm in too bad a mood. Carl. All right. That's insane. Oh, hey. How did all these bodies get down here? You killed all these people, Carl. Collecting piles of human meat is my least favorite thing to do. Carl. What's your favorite thing I to do? A rascal, just a no good troublemaker. What's That's your me. favorite thing? I want to know. What do y'all think his favorite activity is? The music is dying even more. Oh, Carl. How did he get out? He has a he has like a wooden plate. 
guess I'm done. You must complete your work, Carl. There's nothing left to complete. It's all gone. Carl. No. I'm done, Paul. What happened to the real Paul? Why are you still yelling at me? You must complete your work, Carl. All the hands are eaten. All the meat creatures are made, unleashed, and then also eaten. Carl. Yes, it was very upsetting. I can't believe you, Carl. What? Where's Paul at? Do you at? remember the blood vortex in Paris? Carl! Yeah. That was my favorite. Carl! You know what? I don't even think you're really Paul. Of course Me I either. Am, Carl. I think you're a liar and a cheat. You I think you're fake. Your work, Carl. I'm gonna go find the real Paul. Carl. He's gone. I don't think he's gonna be very pleased. I think about he's all the dead. I've done. It's almost time. Remember the orb thing with all the nerves? It would shock people, then eat their skin. Yes, Carl. Paul is going to be really upset to learn I made that. You're almost done, Carl. When I find the real Paul, what happens I bet when he's he going finishes? To be the most mad at you. Carl. I don't even Identity know. Theft. That's a felony. Carl. Yelling. Also a felony. Carl. What? Paul. Carl. Paul. Guys, it's coming towards an end. How does it end, though? Paul, are you home? He's Paul. dead. I'm right here, Carl. No, you're not. You're not Paul. You're an imposter. Paul. Stop it. You must finish your work, Carl. Paul. No, Paul's Paul. gone. Almost done, Carl. I'm coming in, Paul. He's been hallucinating. Paul. Paul. He's been. This is the first time they've oh. moved. I guess you're gone. Paul. Oh. He decayed. That means that nigga been dead for a while. No. That means for like six episodes, this guy has just been pure hallucinations. The blood vortex. I didn't do that. Carl! Carl! He drove himself to the edge. I mean, he kind of deserved. He did kind of like ruin humanity, but like, I don't, I don't really blame him. Like, I mean, there's nothing else out there. He, he, he destroyed everything, but this is, this was a sad, very sad, uh, turn of events. Wow. That was a deep touching story. Honestly, Carl, Paul, you will be missed.